dusk is always best. Uh, this is uh, this is the right time. The road to love is long, though not that winding, in southeastern Colorado. Six to seven. That's that's the primo time. And that road is crawling with tarantulas. <laughs> I come out here just because it's, it's one of the more interesting kinds of events to see. CSU professor Whitney Cranshaw is an annual witness to the mating season of the Oklahoma brown tarantula. Everyone on this highway, everyone out here that's wandering around is a male. Females are hunkered down in little burrows out here. Their whole world is a bar at closing time. Gotta find someone, and fast. The males become sexually active at eight and get one chance to breed. They're going to be dead by Christmas once they wander and... Uh, mate and gets cold, they, they don't make it till the next year. So getting lucky is a relative term. Some find a mate. Come on, get in. Some find their way back to a CSU classroom. They're not venomous. They're gentle giants, but they're not, they're not going to hurt you. The least lucky tarantulas. Shoot, there's a car. Oh, I hope this guy doesn't hit it. They become casualties along the road to love. You'd hate to think anyone tries to hit the spiders, but Professor Cranshaw knows how people feel about animals they don't understand. Americans are weirder about spiders than pretty much any place on the planet by a long shot. His long shot is using these spiders to spark conversations in his classroom and beyond. I hope the kids don't, uh, you know, the kids of the future aren't, aren't as freaked out about spiders as the, a lot of their parents are. Perhaps change perceptions of these little guys all alone in the world, misunderstood, just looking for love.